Now we're going to do some uh, actual tests with a uh, with a real example, and uh, this time, um, well, it's going to be uh, what's it called? Test driven development, and this is a uh, a way of coding where you um, instead of uh, you know just starting to uh, to write your uh, your code, uh, first you think of uh, what you want to make, and then you come up with a bunch of tests that it should uh, that should pass, and then you. Um, then you write your code according to that, and then you you know you keep on running the tests, and then um, you know they should uh, they should all pass, and if they do, that's good. And then if you uh, you know every time you make a um, a breaking change, then uh, hopefully you have uh, enough tests that it'll tell you, and then you can go and maybe modify the code or modify the tests, and then as you go along, you uh, you probably add more tests, and um, you end up with this big. Uh, you know, 200 tests or something like that, and uh, they, they, they kind of guide you uh, on your way. And uh, some people like it, um, some people think it's too slow, uh, but uh, it's, you know, it's totally up to you. And this, uh, this example uh, is, uh, is an example of one. So we're going to put together a calculator, and this is going to be a simple calculator where you give it a um, it's able to add and it's able to subtract, and uh, it should get a um, a string. Uh, you just you know somebody types in a, a stir, and uh, you know something like that, and it should be able to uh, to figure this out and uh, you know return uh, the number seventy eight, and uh, it should know that uh, it should be able to deal with these uh, with these spaces. Uh, it should be able to know. You know, if you have a uh, minus minus ten, then this means plus, and uh, and stuff like that. So um, let's uh, let's make this uh, this function called math to start it off, and um, this is going to be the uh, the function that does everything, and um, it returns an i thirty two because it could be negative, and we don't know, we haven't written it yet, so we'll just uh, return a six for now, and then. Uh, Let's see down here. We're going to uh, make whoops test make our test mod. So just like before, mod tests and the uh, the classic use super. So you can bring in all the functions uh, above, and then we start uh, thinking of some tests. So what should uh, what should our calculator be able to do? So you can uh, you can start. Uh, here's the simplest one. One plus one is two. So it should be it should be able to do that. So uh, you do assert eek, and then you know this is the math function. So we should be able to say, "Hey math, uh, one plus one," and uh, it should give us a two. And then we do we do a few more. So uh, let's see, function uh, one minus two uh, is minus one. So this time we're testing simple subtraction. So this should be one minus one minus two, and that should be minus one. And then uh, let's do one more. One minus minus one is two. So this should be, there we go. Function one minus minus one is two. Assert eek. And we have our math function, and it should be one minus minus one and two. And there we go. We have a bunch of a uh, bunch of tests, and uh, of course, if we uh, if we run it, they're all going to fail because uh, it's giving us a six. Um, there you go. Failed, 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 and it's giving us the um, the results. And this is the um, this is the fun part about uh, this uh, test driven development because you can uh, right away you can see you know if something's going wrong, and especially with a with a calculator. Um, you know, it's easy to to you know parse numbers and uh, you know do something with them, but uh, um, testing is a uh, you know it'll run fine, it'll compile fine. Rust is great at uh, helping you compile your code, but maybe uh, you know the numbers wrong, and that's where uh, testing is uh, is really good. So the next thing uh, we're going to do uh, before the video ends is um, we're going to start with. Um, you know characters that are okay. So um, we 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 want it to uh, you know panic if it, uh, if it if the user enters that and say hey you know that's not cool. You have to uh, you can only enter uh, 
Tom's character is stir. You can only enter numbers and uh, and spaces and and plus and minus. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, zero. That's okay. That's okay. And that's okay. So that's uh, whoops. That's not okay. There we go. That's a tab. So uh, yeah, just numbers and uh, spaces and plus and minus. And then, uh, so we're going to take our math um, function and uh, make it a little bit better. So we're going to say if um, if not, and we're going to take the input, uh, turn it into characters, and uh, they all have to be, uh, you know, one of these okay characters. So let's uh, say character, and then uh, okay characters contains character like that so if that's uh, if that's not the case then uh, should panic and then uh, let's give it a, uh, a message here because you can do that with uh, with panic and say please only input uh, numbers plus or minus uh, or spaces like that so once again this means you know not so you turn it into uh, Turn this uh, input into characters and make sure that all of them are uh, are inside uh, this uh, this OK characters, which is uh, what we set up here. And then, uh, of course, it's still returning a six. We haven't uh, done any math yet, so uh, you know all these are still failing. And uh, then before, let's see, the last thing we're going to do for this video is uh, add one more test because there's a there's another uh, cool attribute called should panic and you do that um, it's kind of like a assert any but um, it's a little bit more uh, easier to see um, and you know it, it tells the compiler that if it panics then uh, then it's a good thing and so panics uh, when uh, characters not right not right like that and then uh, we're going to do uh, so we're going to give it something that should panic so we're going to say um, let's see math uh, 7 plus 7 like that so uh, so this one should be okay because uh, you now it's going to call math it's going to do this uh, it's going to see that it's not okay and it's going to panic and if it panics then the test has uh, has worked and let's see so there we go. So we have our first successful test. Uh, it's panicking when uh, when we give it the wrong stuff, and uh, we could come up with more examples. But for now, we're just going to uh, give it this uh, seven plus uh, seven in letters and uh, and make it panic. So uh, see you in the next video.